Robert back here. Welcome to another edition of the Coffee Challenge. Got something pretty cool to show you. Okay, last spring or uh, last fall, one or the other, I went to Coleman Collectors Gathering down in North Carolina and uh, camped under the hill from me is a guy named Kirk I met. Kurt, uh, he's a real good guy. Anyway, he shared with me one of his finds he found before I got there. For some time, around the same time I was there. And, uh, man, I just fell in love with it. And, uh, I went and looked at it. And uh, when I first seen it, I, I thought he was wanting to show me an old 50s cooler. And I probably walked by it a hundred times thinking it was an old cooler. And, um. Uh, didn't think nothing about it, but he'd picked it up, and uh, man, I couldn't live without this thing. I, I had to have it. So we haggled back and forth a little bit, and I probably paid a little too much for it, but man, he, he wouldn't cut no deal. So uh, I made him an offer he couldn't refuse, and it went home with me. Anyway, check this out. This looks like an old 50s ice box. But it's actually made from a tool company. Uh, Tool Tender, uh, Joplin, New Light, Missouri, uh, yeah, New Light Incorporation, Incorporated, something like it, Joplin, Missouri. But this is actually a chuck box. Let me see here, I got a couple of my small skillets. Folding handle cup, got my coffee, pot holders, coffee grinders, a couple of collapsible bowls, coffee filter bags, uh, use that for a windscreen for a stove. Got my little cook kit with my kettle in it, and a GSI cup. So I can fit another GSI cup in there and I could fit something else on top of those skillets if I wanted to. Still got a compartment here probably for plates, some small paper plates I'll probably put in there. So what do y'all think? Is that pretty cool or what? Yeah, some of you might think it's kind of cool. Some of you other ones are looking at this video saying, well, what's so special about that? Well, actually, it is kind of special to me. Check this out. You can also open it from the other side. Check it out. My spatula, tongs, spoon, my lighter. Silverware, uh, got my little grater, all snapped in there perfectly. Y'all can't see on the camera, but you do see a fuel can here. Check this out. Voila, built-in stove. Okay, this is designed to use the old Coleman style canisters that you slide in that always leak and you can't refill and uh, I had some of them cans and I used one actually I bought them at the uh, meet where I bought this before I found the, this and I have used it in there it does work but it's real sensitive because where the tank lays on its side you if you if you jar it it would pick up liquid fuel and then you get a big fireball five or six inches high come up so it's kind of hard to control the flame like that if, if you jarred it just the least little bit. And I really didn't like the setup. So uh, my buddy Chip was telling me they had these adapters to hook to the old style tanks. Let me see if I can swing it around. Yeah, it just slides onto the needle from the old style tank there. And uh, just kind of snaps right in place, and that way I'm able to use the uh, 
new style canisters. So let's check this out. Grab our lighter. Open our valve. Open our main valve. Let's get the lighter in here first. Kill these lights. Patrol for the second burner on the far side. Hey, I'm locking it. Crank up the heat on that one a little bit. Turn this one down a little bit. Let's go ahead and turn this one off. Let's go ahead and turn them both off for now. Check this out. Can reach you back. Bring you back in frame. You can reach back here. And that folds down. You got access to your stuff in the top. And plus, this has a little vent hose. You can use it as kind of a warming tray. So that's pretty cool. We're not going to cook anything right now, but we are. I don't have time for that. I'm, it's about my bedtime. We are going to make a cup of coffee. Got a little heat shield there to keep your canister behind it to keep it away from the heat. Check out that blue flame. Turn that down just a hair. Yeah, that's better. Anyway, get the, that in there to make a windscreen. Figured that worked pretty good. Cut it down to size. Anyway, it's about the right height to make a good windscreen for that, so I can cut it down to size. Make a decent windscreen out of that. Hopefully the next time you see this, we'll be making breakfast and coffee. Almost there. Just a few bubbles on the bottom, a little steam. will be much longer. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but I can hear the sound of the... It's getting ready to come to a boil, so that's more than hot enough for our coffee.
turn off my canister also. I am digging that little adapter. Heck yeah. all over out hitting flea markets antique stores don't ever walk by something you think might be an old 50s model cooler you don't want because it could be something special all right this cup's got to go to somebody nobody better than my friend kurt I think his last name's Myers. He has a YouTube channel also. Um, it's on Facebook, and I'll try to put a link to his YouTube. Pretty sure he's got a YouTube. If not, I'll put a link to his Facebook. Vice versa. Alright. Y'all know the routine. Like, share, subscribe. God bless.